Superstition and reason seldom go together. Superstition breeds fear, and fear breeds panic, the most frightening of human emotions. A little while back, I was invited by a friend of mine, John Sullivan, whom I hadn't seen for some time, to visit him in the country. It was late evening after dinner on the day of my arrival. It's getting near the time now. So I'd better tell you my real reason for asking you down. I might have guessed there was an ulterior motive. Nevertheless, I shouldn't complain, as it doesn't seem to have affected the excellence of your brandy. Exactly a year ago tonight, I killed a man. He died in this very room. Oh, it's all right. I didn't murder him. I didn't even mean to kill him. He was a bestial type of man, a poacher and a thief. His name was Silas. He lived in a hovel down by the river. They say that he'd been abandoned by some gypsies years ago. He was evil, Peter. Terrifying. How did you kill him? He broke in here one night. I came down with my shotgun. And as he ran across the garden, I shot him. I meant to shoot low, but I got him in the back. Luckily, our local constable heard the shot and came round to investigate. Just before Silas died, that old clock of mine began striking eleven. And with the hate of centuries smoldering in his evil eyes, he cursed me. I'll come back, Mr. Sullivan, he said. When that clock strikes eleven, a year from the day, I'll come back and get you. But surely, John, you don't believe. I believe anything of old Silas, but I'm ready for him. I can't see if that can be of much use against him now. Maybe not, but I'm taking no chances. Come on. 